I do. I'm made for it. Okay. Uh, this is our um, thing. Uh, <laughs> it's been a hell of a day. That's how I'm going to start. Let's discuss our days. I'm going to talk about my day. Okay. Because um, I don't really care about yours. My day was not according to plan. Hmm. Um, yes. Uh, my mouth was numb for the first six hours of it, I think. Exciting. It was. It was, an, it, it was a nice experience. Um, for some reason, it affected my driving a lot. Mm. I didn't drive as well as I usually do. Maybe <clears throat> because one of your senses was hindered. You had, like, overactive Maybe. eyeballs and you just drove really well, I think I was actually. just concerned that it was going to mess up something and I just kind of self-fulfilling prophecy. Mm. Um, the people that I had set up to help with this video <laughs> could not make it, so... Um, we're making do with Brian. Hi. Um, so I'm just as disappointed as everybody else is watching it. Um, but you know, it is what it is. What are we making do with Brian? We're talking about the Disney Mulan remake. Um, <clears throat> just trying to give some perspective on it. And we're going to try to limit our answers on the bullet points to 30 seconds each because I don't want to edit this. So. Um, I would say it's because it took place during the the Disney Renaissance, right? And it kind of was the first Disney princess to really not, A, initially be a princess, and B, to, like, I guess, kind of do something more um, self-fulfilling as opposed to, like, looking for love and everything. And I think that to a lot of girls is, like, a really big deal. Like, now it's not maybe as big of a deal with, mm -hmm. like, the rise of things like Frozen, which is okay, and, like, other stuff, but... Five seconds. Yeah, I just think that's probably what made, made magical was, like, she was a new kind of princess. And it was animated. I think it was cute. You might have to repeat it just to fill the time. Just like, oh. The prince is really cute, too. Okay. The thing went. Also, it's historically stop. accurate. Okay. No, okay. it was it historical relevance. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Like, All right. Now it's my turn. Cinderella's not right. So good. One, make a man out of you. Badass. Love that song. Um, you know, I, one of the things I think it did, it touched a lot on, like, gender politics in a way that Disney movies haven't before. Mm -hmm. But. Like you said, also, it was kind of like a Disney princess, even though she's not a princess, but she was kind of, she had like a very specific goal in mind, and she was doing it for a very specific reason, to like protect her family, you know, so her father didn't have to go off and, <clears throat> it was also about her not wanting to get married, what? That's not 30 seconds, was that 30 seconds? Yeah, it sucks to say. Holy crap, I don't think that's right. <laughs> uh, do you think they're, okay, so we need to explain, I guess, for people who don't know, okay. what the reports were on that, um, the script that leaked. The script that leaked? Yes, or allegedly leaked. So basically, um, from what I remember, there was a, a script leak that Disney's doing this live-action remake of Mulan where instead of following Mulan as the main character, there will be a white merchant that has traveled to China. I'm sorry, hold on. Like, that's what's what happening, though? This is what... This is a white merchant... <laughs> so, stupid. so there's a white merchant who's there's a white merchant that traveled to China who's okay. male yeah. and he's kind of a womanizer and he I guess he somehow ends up kind of like working with the army or he sees Mulan does he like, fall from Mulan? he Don't. sees Mulan as kind of a conquest or something like that and then over time he kind of sees that she's more than like the average woman or whatever so like it's that. not even about Mulan exactly. yes <laughs> I have no doubt, honestly. I think so, yeah. I was, like, really excited because, like, I noticed that they weren't going to use a white actress to play Mulan. I was like, oh, that's actually a huge step. But oh, then, that's a, I mean, it's, it's a huge it's step. A, it's a good like, step, which is sad, but, like, I kind of figured as much. They never really actually have, like, race movies or movies about a specific race that's not I white feel like, actually led. I like, feel like they would only do it, though, if they had, like, like a half-Asian girl that already worked for Disney. Like, they would put her in the role. Really? I think so. That's what they did with Mo Moana. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> they just already had her working. All right, oh. next one. No. <laughs> Not surprised. They've probably been the same, like, algorithm. They'd probably, like, have the character, and they'd have, like, the white savior person come in from somewhere else and then fall for that person and have it be, like, their story of falling for that person instead of actually Mulan's story. Yes. See, I think if these were black characters, they wouldn't have because... They probably would get more backlash. Well, but if you then, think about like most movies, like it's not historically black films. Ten seconds. But ten most seconds. black films now they still have the white savior role. Because... No, 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 no. But I'm saying like would they like bring it? I mean maybe, but I feel like like Asian people like they just get more overlooked than than most. 
They definitely do. Or, yeah, I guess in most, like, people kind of forget, like, oh, yeah, we never have Asian people in movies. Yeah. So, I feel like we just never actually tell Asian stories. I feel like a lot of the beef that I think black people have is that they have roles that could be played by black characters with a severe lack of just leading characters, mm-hmm. but we're there. While Asian people, I feel like, they will oh. take purely Asian stories, like, that happen in Japan and just make everybody white. Like, mm-hmm. they'll just completely overlook them, and you don't even realize it because, again, like, when they are present... You can like, oh, there's an Asian person, like, they're doing something. But We're it's not like, doing a very good job sticking to this 30 second rule. I'm sorry. Still edit it. I mean, just have like. I'm not going to edit this. Have like headline things. I'm not going to edit this. You're okay. wasting time. <sighs> no. I mean, I don't know. I don't I, think they would have. I think we pushed through the, like. How far do you think this idea would have gotten into the production? Oh, then, yeah, no, absolutely. I think that there's definitely like, there's two schools of thought. There's people who are like, oh, hell yeah, like a live action Mulan movie. And there's people who are like, oh, God, no, it's Disney. What are they going to do to it? Mm. And I think those two schools of thought kind of contribute to like helping it get this far. Because I feel like if people, people make the mistake of thinking that like social media is like a vacuum and it's not. Like, not everyone agrees on social media. I think in general, we realize, okay, like maybe you shouldn't have like a white girl playing an Asian character. But people who don't have a problem with that. So I feel like it made it as far as it did because of social media. Okay, so that's actually a good point. Yeah. So, what do you think is worse if they had, if they had given the role of Mulan to a white woman, or kept Mulan as an Asian female but made a white male the lead? Which which one's worse? Which one's the worst? I mean, misstep there. On the one hand, I guess it's like if the, I feel like it's definitely the white male lead. I guess yeah, because it's like a white lady playing an Asian lady. At least she's meant to be an Asian lady, and like instead of it being like. No, but I'm saying, like, it's better to have a character who's meant to be, like, Japanese in, like, film in context. She's who's Chinese, play- yeah. Whatever. It's not whatever, but Chinese. Whatever. Oh, man. I was thinking about Ghost in the Shell. I'm sorry. I think about Ghost in the Shell. I have to edit this because I, I about, can't leave that I think about Ghost in the Shell. Any other race doesn't matter what it is. But it's, if you have a character, <laughs> you? No, if you have a white woman right. play a minority role, um, just fictitiously in the context or whatever, like, at least you're trying to portray an actual Chinese woman. It might not be with a Chinese actress, which sucks, and you definitely should have a Chinese actress, because duh. But, like, you're right. I think the fact that they have, like, a white savior thing is actually more destructive because it makes this iconic character, like, a background. I just look at it as, like, the pluses and minuses. <clears throat> so, you have a also, female character of color mm-hmm. in Mulan. So, if you have a white female player... You lose the person of color and you completely erase change character, but at least it's a woman, right? If it's a <laughs> white male that's coming in to save the day, you completely negate the female strength of the character. You completely take out the color of it, yeah. and you just change the story for no reason. Which is a pet peeve of mine is when they start changing the story over for like for no reason. Right. Feel like you should just have it's an Asian because, girl like, play the lead. But... Disney, you know, when they want to be, they stick pretty closely to their original stories. When Maleficent came out, like Angelina Jolie had like the weird ass cheekbones. That was like, a stylistic choice. That wasn't. It was a stylistic choice, yeah. but it wasn't like super necessary to the story. But they were like, "Oh, that's actually worked in the cartoon. We gotta keep that." She's also green, but she is kind of green. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. Yes. <laughs> I yeah? think so. Yeah. yeah. I think they would have gotten away with this two years ago. They wouldn't even had an Asian female role. Honestly. I think they would just. Made I mean, we say away. that, but they did make this movie like over ten years ago. It's a cartoon. That's true. That's true. In the past, they haven't been. Disney hasn't been. I mean, even like, and even that they had. I mean, they, Disney's had like all kinds of criticisms about like, even if they're like minority characters, mm-hmm. don't seem or act like minority characters. Like right. with the whole, like, I know Princess Jasmine. They were just like the guy who made like modeled after like she doesn't. There's like there are people who are like saying like historically speaking and like culturally speaking, they don't make it accurate. I guess to like, the actual culture, they just use like the race, but like they right. don't actually like make the effort to make it accurate. Pocahontas. Pocahontas. Who is say. the hottest Disney princess, by the way? But she is bad, but I just can't get over just the. The rest of it. No, Jasmine, though. Jasmine. I mean, like, the original story is Personality-wise, Jasmine. You know who's fine, though? Pokemon's friend. The short hair kind of did it for me. Really? Yeah, she's kind of cute. She looks like my roommate. No, she doesn't. She looks like She does not. She's kind of like Cyril. Oh, gross. I don't know why she reminds me of Cyril. She just ruined it for me. I think it's her eyes. Cyril's nice. She's going to be in this class. I'm going to hear this. She's not in this class. Okay. She hey, might Cyril. know somebody that's in this class, though. She's really cool. Stop yeah. eating other people's food. Oh, God. I don't even, I think it's only, I think it's probably been happening for a long ass time. I think there's probably been like the same concept happening for a long time. We were just now realizing it and people were like woken up to it. I know the first time I heard about the issue was like just not properly representing races was with Lucy, which is a ScarJo film. Yeah, you told me about that. And then with I've Hercules. I've never seen that actually. In Hercules. In Hercules, like, I think the issue was that. Hercules? Because what they were saying was. The rock one? Yeah. They were saying the issue was that 
the entire thing took, I don't know where to take place in ancient, the problem was, like, not so much that they had, like, they didn't have the right people playing the roles, but the people they had, like, they had people, like, you know, in, like, a lot of movies where, like, Egyptian characters and everybody's, like, white type mm-hmm. thing, and then, like, all the bad guys are black, though, so, like, there's gonna be black people, but they just have <laughs> yeah. them all, like, be the, the enemy, like, the or, demons. like, the guards or something. Yeah, but, like, every yeah, but all the kings and queens are, like, white people, and, like, The Rock, obviously, is just swole, that's how I got the role, but, like, people are saying with Hercules, like, I think he, like, sense. produced that film, though. Which is fine, I have a problem with him, his role was fine, I think. Right. I just think the background roles of what caused it, because everyone was mad, like, okay, so there are black people, but they're all, like, the demons who are attacking Hercules, and none of, like, his See, like, I don't like, remember much about Oh, what's happening? Okay. Isn't I mean, isn't it based on like Greek mythology now? Hmm? It is based on I mean, even Greek mythology, but I think it's just because like of where it takes place, which is like oh, I don't remember where it took place. It takes Middle East. I don't, I don't remember. I remember there was a controversy no, about I, I, it. I, you know, no, you're probably right. Well, but, it, but and it makes you wonder, like, if The Rock <clears throat> isn't The Rock and doesn't produce that film, do they cast The Rock in it? Probably because he pulls in box office. Probably because he's freaking huge. He's Hercules. Like I mean. If you're like, who's gonna play Hercules? And you're like, you're gonna pick The Rock. Like, he's the iconic Hercules character. Not iconic, but he's like, he, in terms of like pop culture, you're like, we need a big swole dude. You're gonna call The Rock. And he's Hercules. See, That's like his gimmick. I guess I'm just, I guess I'm just like more cynical about it. Like, I think he would possibly get the role because people like The Rock and he makes the money. If, if he's like an average box office draw, mm-hmm. white blonde dude. What's, Jason. what's the dude from Jason Twilight Lola. that they try to they tried to cast for like every superhero role for a while after that movie was big? Like he wasn't he was like one of the vampires, but he was like real big. Oh, he uh he plays Emmett Edwards. Probably. I don't know their names, but My he's, he's really like the vampire. <laughs> yeah, he's like the yeah. okay. Like I feel like he Wait. had he had Hercules movie that came out around the same time, mm-hmm. and he's terrible. So I don't know who banked on that guy. Nobody in Twilight lasted. Nobody. Okay. Uh, I don't think there's anything to do with it. I think that the no Disney, reason. I think that Disney princesses are separate from Disney movies. I think that right now, like you said, we mentioned earlier, how like they're relaunching a lot of stuff. They're redoing like Jungle Book. They redid. Um, listen, you mentioned that. I think they're just capitalizing on like the new CGI and taking these movies from when, like when we were kids that were cartoons and mm. making them into live action things for nostalgia's sake. I think because I think people are gonna go see it are gonna mm. be most people who saw it when they were younger. And then they're out there also making new princesses, like with the whole 3D line. Now we have like Rapunzel, you have you know Elsa, Anna. Now you have Moana, and I think they're gonna take the opportunity to make maybe like add some more diversity in there. But if you think about it, like I consider these 3D princesses like the next generation of princesses. Mm. And so far we have three white ones and one of color, which is I don't know. The thing is, like they've basically covered most of their races. They've covered not races, but they've covered like in terms of like generic like pools of people, I guess. <laughs> What is wrong with you? No, I'm serious. Like, they, 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 They've covered most of the. No, their but I'm race. saying like they have. They've they've gone. They've, they've covered. They've done for all a while. all kinds of white. They've done black. They've done Asian. They've they've done I guess like South Asian. They've done Moana, What's which is Pacific Asian? Islander. South Asian would be Jasmine. I don't want to say Indian because oh, it's like yeah. a whole. But like they and, like she wasn't even really Indian. Like I mean yeah, like what she was wearing was actually like. More of like oh, well yeah I guess it was supposed to be was it supposed to be India like. Yeah, I guess. I was thought it was more like Middle Eastern. I well, it know. is probably, but like, okay, but the thing is, like, yeah. we know that no, it's not yeah. right, but people consider her like the Indian princess, which is stupid. I guess so. Yeah, yeah I didn't so know like, that they, did they that, covered yeah. just like South Asia, Middle East kind of area. They covered brown to close this down. Do you think that Disney can ever get called enough on the bullshit to have one of these movies not be successful because there's just a complete lack of accuracy or, like, respect to... Oh, the no, because the vast majority of the like, people who care about these, mm-hmm. like, the Disney fans don't actually care. The people who care are people who are, like, of these races and, like, want to see, like, accuracy type oh, things. God, it it's kind of like the people... I don't... I just... I don't think, like... I, I personally... Like, it's... The people, like, Frozen won an award. I don't know why. It's not that good of a movie. Like, it was good. Oh, we can do a whole... Thing on Frozen. on Frozen. But the thing uh, is, like, I know for a fact that I have two sides of social media type thing. You know, half of them are like, oh my god, princess? Yes, like, I, I love princesses, looks, but... I think Moana looks cool. It looks awesome. Like, on its own. I think it looks really cool, too, but I think that... Again, like, I don't know. I just feel like... Although Lilo will always be the first Polynesian princess in my life. Can we? Yes. Yes. Have you watched that movie recently? We on Stitch. It's it's I better than I watch adult. it about every six months. To be completely honest. Okay. David is the real Disney prince though because he was like the most solid. Oh, Nani's bad. Huh? No, I, I think David was like I'm like she's cool too, but like I think that David was literally the most solid Disney boyfriend slash not prince, but like known to man. Like he. No, nah, like he actually like. He was a really awesome guy. Yeah, yeah, he was like actually there in he prison. Was, Helped his girlfriend like who had a kid to take care of. Yeah, like, thinks about David and he set the and stage on fire. And a black social worker? Wow. Like, Go, Bubbles! Like, if Leland Stitch came out now, it would be 
a totally different like marketing campaign for it. Like the like whereas in the past the focus was on Stitch. Yeah. This time the focus would be on like these wow. these women of color that are like on their own and you know yeah. living for each other. And the alien comes. And... Yeah. I, would... I think I think the alien part of it would actually be like pushed to the side because yeah. of what Disney's probably trying would try to capture. I don't think it pushed the side. I just think I think you're right. So I feel like the story itself kind of does revolve around mm-hmm. like Lilo and like how, like what's happening to her. Mm-hmm. And then Stitch. And, like, again, the whole environment's relatively accurate, I mm. feel like, to the actual Hawaii type thing. It wasn't like, it's not... Yeah. And so I think if they did say, I think it's just the marketing would be different. That's probably the most culturally really accurate. CGI. It, it, I'm not Hawaiian. I've never been to Hawaii. I don't know anyone What? Well, I think it's part of it, too. So but because, I have like, a it feeling is, that it's one of the most culturally accurate movies that Disney It's like, made. this sounds weird to say, but I feel like, I think part of that's because it was, like, the most exotic part of America type thing. So it's like, they actually had no excuse of not yeah. being accurate. Because people who were going to watch this movie were actually living there. And so they really had no reason not to be accurate. Well, like, when we were watching Mulan back True. in the day, you know, mom wasn't explaining to the kid, like, no, 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 honey. Like, this is a real thing. Like, yeah. no one was explaining to their kids, like, of course. The they accuracies. still made Pocahontas, <laughs> and 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 okay, but we and, also okay, and Native but, Americans were very much like, hey Disney, like let us help you with this, like let us let's get this right. And, and they're like, like, oh no, no thanks, we no. got this. To be fair, like I think Hawaii is like an alive and thriving state while the Native American population I'll edit is that out. not. Doing I'll edit so that out. <laughs> That's the thought that people have, like, oh Hawaii is thriving, like Native Americans, like when was the last time you saw one of those? Like, yo man, like, no, that's but, a culture that like needs a lot of attention. No, they do need attention. The thing is, like, attention. actually, I think I would like to see a Native American princess. Another one. Now she's trying to save it. No, I'm not. No, I'm actually I'm serious right because it's the thing that's happening right now. It's a relevant topic. Don't tell me to be quiet. It's a relevant topic. 